Alright, hi and welcome back to another tutorial of Teach Me Up. In this PHP snippet tutorial I'm going to show you how to use Bcrypt and of course um, how to safely store your passwords into your database. Um, basically you're encrypting your passwords um, so that um, if your database gets compromised uh, the hackers won't be able to uh, get your passwords out of your database anyway. Um, so. Um, the main difference between Blowfish and Bcrypt, because Bcrypt is sort of uh, the Blowfish encryption, is that um, Bcrypt keeps up with Moore's Law. That means that no matter how fast computers will get, um, they won't be able to decrypt it anytime soon. So, uh, I'm sorry, uh, so what we need is, of course, let's say we have uh, two variables. Uh, we have a post of their username oh sorry like so uh, you post a username in the form username uh, let's say a, a registration form or some sort uh, and a password and of course you probably have uh, a lot more um, you know uh, how do you say it uh, fields that can be uh, sent to you but for now I'll just cover those two um, of course you want to prevent um, MySQL injection so we're going to write a small script for a second prevent this by um, saying this is um, uh, strip slashes of um, this like so and this is um, my secret uh, real escape string what a long and hard to type um, function that is uh, so this and then we're going to return this like so all right so uh, this function is uh, pretty useful if you're uh, you know if you have like 10 input fields and uh, it saves some time by just doing prevent and then just saying the variable you want to prevent from my sql injection like so prevent uh, password like so all right so this function basically uh, makes sure that every variable you you prevent is being prevented from MySQL injection. Um, so yeah, that's basically it. Uh, then we're going to create uh, a small string, uh, sort of a random string, and we're going to use the substring uh, function for that. And in the uh, uh, substring uh, function, we're going to write the username. So we're kind of, uh, you know, using the username. And let's say if we have uh, a minimum requirement of six characters. Um, so let's say, um, I don't know, for example, um, uh, I'm sorry, for example, the requirement to uh, the minimum of characters you have to use in your username is six characters, then you can write six over here. If not, then you have to use, uh, if the minimum requirement is uh, three, you have to write three here. But for now, we, we will use six. Um, and then we're going to create a salt. And our salt is basically, um, it starts off with a dollar sign, then a two, and then an A. Um, people recommend using the Y if you have um, the latest version of PHP uh, and only cover, um, you know, the latest version of PHP or later. Um, but for now, just use 2A just to be sure. Um, so yeah, and after that dollar sign, you have to write your strength. And I'm going to use 12 because that's the uh, the slowest um, way to uh, encrypt your password. So it actually prevents being cracked because it's so slow. Um, you can also use something like uh, 7, but you have to make sure you use 0, 7. So not a 12, uh, not like this, okay? So let's say we use 7, uh, you have to write it like that. After that dollar sign, we use a 22 character a uh, long um, random string of uh, characters and I'm going to cover um, in my next tutorial a way to create a nice uh, real generated salt but for now uh, I'm doing it with the substring so the substring extracts 22 characters for us so um, or six characters and that's part of the 22 so we need um, uh, 22 mi minus 6 is 16, so we need 16 characters here. So 1, 
to um, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, like so. And then we're going to add the string to it. So string like so. And then we finish it off with the dollar sign like so. All right, so this isn't probably uh, the best uh, way to, um, you know, um, save uh, or generate a salt, but it will do for now in this tutorial. I'll just want to explain uh, what exactly you have to use in, um, you know, in your uh, in your uh, encryption of uh, Bcrypt. So that's um, we have to use these four characters for sure. Uh, that's basically uh, basically assigning that. Um, the crypt function has to use bcrypt. Then we have a strength, um, which maximum strength is 12. And if you use a character under 10, you have to use a zero in front of it, like so. So if you use six, it has to be like this and not like that. All right, so um, then we have a 22 um, characters long string. And I try to randomize it with using uh, part of the username, uh, the first six characters. Um, I'm going to explain you why this isn't the best way uh, to, uh, you know, uh, create a string. Um, that's because, let's say, if someone by accident has the same six characters um, of the username, so let's say uh, teach me up uh, one, teach me up two, teach me up three, or uh, three different usernames, and they both use uh, the same password. Um, then we already have a flaw so that's why I'm going to cover a, a real salt generator in the next tutorial but I'm just trying to explain this string right over here for you guys so um, if we have a salt made up we're going to um, create um, our crypt function so crypt set pass is crypt function it's as simple as that password and salt and i believe that's enough for bcrypt so um the only thing we need to use bcrypt is we have to get uh, our things out of the form obviously then we prevent it with uh, some basic mysql uh, prevention injection prevention i mean um, then we prevent uh, the variables and then the most important part comes uh, which is the salt so always remember to uh, dollar sign to a dollar sign strength uh, dollar sign 22 random characters which can be numbers and uh, letters um, and another dollar sign to close um, off your salt then we uh, crypt the password with the salt and that's it and you have to save your salt in your database and of course your encrypted password so if you want to decrypt it i mean if you want to uh, you know um, um, if you want to log in you have to crypt the password compared to the encrypted password and solve in your database and that's it all right so i hope you um, got something out of this tutorial uh, if you have any questions uh, please comment below and uh, i'll try to help you out um, and if you want to know how to uh, really really um, generate a salt that's uh, perfectly without flaws um, then of course i'll uh, you know uh, uh, you can see that in the next tutorial so if you got anything out of this uh, please uh, rate this video it would help me out a lot uh, or obviously share it with your web development uh, friends because um, you know it's the best way to uh, make um, the web a safer place uh, and prevent uh, password uh, theft by uh, encrypting your passwords the correct way and if some huge companies like linkedin uh, can even uh, use uh, these uh, what is it 20 lines of code um, that's a shame you know they probably didn't know anything about it and uh, um, you know this should be shared with anyone i'm also going to uh, post a few links uh, in the description box uh, that you should definitely read if you're interested about uh, the encryption and uh, why you should use bcrypt um, but for now, just use this and please subscribe if you haven't subscribed yet. Uh, and I'll see you in the next tutorial. So thanks for watching and enjoy the rest of your day.